Good morning, Sunny Carvalho. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm fantastic. And where are you? You are in uh, Alabama, right outside where? Birmingham. Right outside Birmingham. So how far away are you from Paducah? How long does it take you to get it, here? It takes me about six hours driving. Six hours, but that's pretty yeah. much a straight shot up from Birmingham, Nashville, and then Paducah, right? Yeah, pretty much, yes. Um, so Sunny and I met at retreats, oh my God, 10 or 11 years ago, a long, <laughs> long time ago, became, I love, we're just fast friends and she stayed at our house and John asks about you all the time. TJ, our huge dog who <laughs> weighs more than Sunny, asks about her all the time <laughs> because he's in love with her. In he love. likes to yes. in my lap. <laughs> he likes to he's a lap boy yes he, he is. Is. gives you lap dances anyway um sunny when are you teaching here you're coming back this summer right uh, yeah i think it's the, in uh august you are in august and i will put the august. link to registration and all the details when i post this on social media but um so sunny has taught here a couple of times before and what I call, I love it because I just feel like we're having a glimpse into what goes on in Sonny's head, which <laughs> is fascinating. <laughs> it's a little scary in there sometimes. A little scary. So tell us, <laughs> tell us about what you're teaching and your art and all that good stuff. Okay. Well, what I am teaching, I brought a few examples of them. These little ease. Oh. Whoops. Here's another one. Oh, she's fantastic. Oh, no. Yes. My face. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's so the that... world. Yes, I squish you. I'm squishing <laughs> your head right now. Yes. <laughs> These are made literally from cardboard and newspaper. Oh, and yay. Yeah, so it's, it's very interesting and really cool how... Uh, you just start out with really, really simple things. Trashed and treasures. Yes. Oh, yeah. wow. And they're actually dimensional. It's hard to see it in this, but yeah. But, uh, oh, they are. Under there. Yeah. So just fun little things that you can use them. You can hang them on the wall. You can hang them on a tree. You can do whatever you want with them. But uh, that is part of the class. And then the other part <gasps> is the houses. Oh, little houses. Little oh, my goodness. Inside them. Oh, oh look. Wow. Again, look, look right through there. Look. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that is truly a glimpse into how my brain works. <laughs> I just let it just go, oh, squirrel. And then there's a squirrel wearing <laughs> pants. Yes. That's exactly right. <laughs> Here's another one with this little dude hanging in oh, here. Oh, she's lovely. Yeah. So this is so, awesome. This is a three-day workshop and people are going to make all kinds of stuff, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And it's, even though they look like, like they would be hard to make, they're actually very easy to make for beginners or experienced artists alike. Um, the techniques are, are definitely a tool. And we're calling this class faux mache. Faux mache because it looks like paper mache, but it's really not true paper mache. It's it's the easier way to do paper mache. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> less, <laughs> dude, your hands yeah. are covered with that stuff. Yeah. Ah, 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 exactly. yeah, no, we're not exactly. doing that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. And you've been to Paducah a couple of times before. Is yeah. there anything that surprises you about Paducah? I mean, we're a small town of about 27,000 now. Um, it, it's just the town itself. There's so much there, even though it's a small town, there are so many things to see. And I think it's a beautiful town too. You know, I love wow. the, the, the streets and the, the way that the houses are laid out. I just think it's a really lovely town and the shop is worth coming there. Just for that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stay at the front part of the shop when I'm there. So oh, yeah, yes. you, your shop yes. has introduced me to supplies that I use constantly. Oh, now yeah. you're, that you fell in love found. with the paper artsy paints, didn't yes. you? Yes, yes, and they I, they are now a part of daily art. Oh wow, and that's never good to know. In your shop. Oh, that's cool to know. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we try to get stuff that you can't find at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So that's how we kind of carved our niche. So, yeah. yeah. And those Japanese threads and yarns. Oh, and yeah. Not the yarns. shashiko. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, it's just such good stuff. 
thank you. Well, we like it. It's, you know, it's kind of, I like to shop. So, you know, shopping wholesale is just equally fun. Yes. <laughs> um, so we're going to, so we're going to have three days together and you said this is good for experienced and as well as newbie if you're just attracted to the style of art you're going to give us because when you've taught before you've given us insight in how you get the depth in your characters and color yes. and you know just little marks sometimes make all the difference in the world yeah. and i love that yeah and, and how long you... going through those things as well you know as right. far as the, how to get that depth and you know just painting faces in general that kind of thing and you started off as a very traditional <laughs> porcelain doll maker correct I did I, um porcelain dolls for oh my goodness I think it was 22 or three years no you're not yeah. that old good grief you started when you were two <laughs> <laughs> um and at some point though I got interested in you know Tim Burton is a big um inspiration oh, yeah. to me yeah. and if you combine him with Mark Ryden you get the beauty and the weird at the same time uh -huh. and so I think with me is I got to the just traditional little pretty doll standing in a row which are, which is lovely as well but at some point I kind of started transitioning into a little bit more odd and uh -huh. I just when I did it was like it connected with people in yeah. a way that I hadn't before and um so that you know my art kind of transferred into that world at that time and that's and so, that's your truer self, you think, right? It is, the, it is, the pretty yeah. and the weird. That's Sonny Carvalho. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't wait to host you. And I think it's going to be a delightful workshop. You've got a bunch of people signed up already. Nice. And um, we're we're looking forward to that. So all this all the details will be in the um, in the description and I should have introduced myself. I'm Kristen Williams. I'm the owner of Ephemera Paducah, which is an art workshop and store in Paducah, Kentucky. And Paducah is a very centrally laid, centrally located um, city. We're about two hours from Nashville, Tennessee, about two and a half from St. Louis, three hours from Memphis, and about three and a half from Louisville, Kentucky. So we're on the western really end of the state. Simple. Yeah, and you can... Yeah. Um, a lot of people drive here. We are served by United Airlines a couple of flights a day. So if you're on the West Coast and you want to come play with Sunny, we can get you here. It's it's great. Um, well, Sunny, I don't want to take up all your time today, but I appreciate you chatting with me. And now we're going to do my favorite part is the flash round <laughs> where I'm going to fire oh, oh, some no. personal questions at you. All um, right. You know, if anyone's taken my workshop, I used to be a meeting facilitator and I always open up the workshop with a question just so we kind of get a little insight into who's in the room. So, all right, are you ready? I think so. Gird your loins. All right, who's your celebrity crush? Oh, that would have to be Dax Shepard. Dax Shepard, good to know. What was your first job? <laughs> my first job was when I was 14 years old in a restaurant waiting tables and I was the worst at it. <laughs> you spill entire trays of food on people <laughs> no it was not that kind of bad it was like um someone would order the steak and i would be like okay and then i would turn around to walk away and they would go don't you want to know how that's going to be cooked <laughs> <laughs> not particularly i'm going to do it how i like it yeah <laughs> so uh, did you play make-believe when you were a child did you have an imagination? And if you did, did you have a name for yourself or an imaginary friend? Hmm. I've always pretty much lived in a world of make believe. <laughs> <laughs> and I still do today. As and, my, and my imaginary name is. <laughs> what is your current well, imaginary name? As you know, friend? My, <laughs> my husband says I live in a world where everything is happy and squirrels are in my pants. So uh, and, and does the squirrel have a name? <laughs> no, hardly anything has a name. I don't know oh, why. Okay. Yeah. So I remember we would play, I had this friend Jane, and we would play Little Lost Orphalines. And we would run around <laughs> my backyard going, I'm lost. I'm an orphan. I don't know why we fantasized about that. Comes from we came from dysfunctional <laughs> families. And my name was Rachel. <laughs> so anyway, that's where that came from. All right, what's your most hated art supply? Oh, gosh. I, I love a lot of them. I don't uh -huh. know if I have 
I don't really know if I have a, a hated one. Hated color, <laughs> hated anything. No. No, I, you know, and my color choices change every day. I think you know, do. I know there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. So, what's your like current red. most what's your current most loved art supply? Paper artsy paints. Paper That's, artsy paints. Oh my God. Good to know. They are so fabulous because you can put them down. You can write over them. You can. I do like writing on them. Over oh, them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, it really is my true very yeah, changer. Perfect. So we're having a big sale next week. Everything in the store is going to be twenty five percent off, on and that's either you call and you order or you're in the shop. And I have it. I have all the paper artsy colors, I think, and that's going to be on sale as well. So there, Need just put that. Santa's coming. Yeah. Um, well, Sunny, I'm going to put all the details about your class. There's a class description. You register online and we provide, when you come to Ephemera Paducah, we have, um, we make sure that your classes are, are well tended. So lunch is provided, snacks are provided, water is provided, you get to shop and then you get to spend three days with Sunny and <laughs> in, in her little world. Who could ask for anything more? Santa Claus, bring you this class. Faux mache. <laughs> anything else you want to add before we sign off uh yes I didn't mention at the very beginning thank you so much for having me oh of course my pleasure yeah it's yeah. always such a pleasure to get to spend any kind of time with you whether it's online or in person so I, I always appreciate you oh thank you you too all right well have a merry Christmas and I will see you before you know it okay wonderful all thank right. you so much thanks I'm going to stop the Bye. recording now all right